Hello, my name is Chuck. You're watching Sariska Pades, and this channel is all about my adventures in landscaping with succulents. So, this is little Dominique here. We call her Nikki. She's my second child, and she's only here because it's my turn to watch over her. Zach is in the room having a nap together with his mom. Nikki and I are out here right now just so we don't make noise and we don't wake anyone up. On to the topic. For several months now, I've been thinking about changing up my logo and I was I was hoping to be able to prepare something for the first anniversary which happened in September but unfortunately, I was not able to come up with a design because I was having a hard time trying to find a symbol uh, an appropriate symbol or a logo that I really like so I've left it in the back burner for months and months now. Now flash forward to a few weeks ago, I decided to work on it again because I think it's about time my branding needed some freshening up. Hey Nikki, see something? So to make things easier, I decided to reach out to a graphic artist to help me with the design. He bounced off a few ideas to me and from his first draft, it gave me an inspiration for a logo for, a, for elements that I really liked. And it got me thinking deep, it got me thinking a lot about my content and the types of plants that I collect. And of course, as you can see right here, these are all Echeverias, except for this one, it is a Pachyveria. And I think that my branding, my logo should reflect that love, Echeveria. So I made this little sketch and gave it to the graphic artist and he improved upon it. He created a vector version of it. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. And for the past few days, well, mostly nights. I've been teaching myself animation and I figured that I could try and I could have a go at animating my logo myself and that's what I did for the past few nights and right now I think I've gotten to the point that I have a base version which, I, which I'm happy with already. I will still improve it down the line but I'm happy with this version 1 and I'd like to show it to you. So I guess this video is I revealed the logo and here it is. So as you can see, it is a flower stalk. It's a bloom stalk of an Echeveria. There are small bracts along the stem and of course some flowers, some bell-shaped flowers. The flowers haven't opened yet. They're still closed. Yes. Do you want to say something? <laughs> And I mainly chose this because I wanted to get out of the cliche of using a rosette, a succulent, to represent a succulent channel. Almost everyone does that. But I don't think that anyone have ever focused on uh, a detail like this, on the flowers. And you know me, I'm very pedantic about IDs, about identification, and, <laughs> and flowers really help narrow down the species. So, yeah, why not use flowers? <laughs> <laughs> like my hat? Your head is so small. Yeah. So what do you think of the logo? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. She's got my hat.